Hello everybody, Multi here. It has been quite a while, hasn't it? It's been, yeah, I haven't done a, a single vlog since the day I arrived back here from my trip to Japan, so I have a lot to catch up on. And I told you folks a few weeks before my trip to Japan that I was going to uh, start going through my entire game collection. And I'm still going to do that, but not today because, well, we're in the middle of a work week right now. Literally the dead center of a work week. I got I just worked two nights, and now I got two nights left, so there's that. Yeah, check this out. Um, so I made a grave mistake. Um, I actually, uh, I am going to be picking up uh, food at uh, Tom's here real soon, but I didn't, before I ordered the food, I didn't look outside and realize that, yeah, it's supposed to be a stormy day today, actually. It's raining really hard already, and uh, yeah, so that's going to be fun, walking out there to get that, but I'm going to have to. And it's just fine, it's fine, I got a coat for that. Anyways, it was a terrible night at work, um, so I, yeah, I had a drink, yay. I'm only supposed to be drinking on weekends, if at all, but here I am doing the middle of the week because it's just been so terrible lately, like, work has been, like, really awful lately, like, I cannot even, you know, some weeks or even some, or, yeah, some days and even some weeks are fine, but, like, it eventually just goes back to being shit again, so I just... Blah. This is just one of those days I really hate my job and wish I did something else. I don't know what to do, though. I don't know what to do it. Oh, I also do differently, so. It just sucks, you know? Um, Yeah, and, like, some nights it just gets so bad that I just get into, like, really these really low moods, and that's not really good for me. But it just it happens. Like, it's just starting to happen, like, every single week at this point. So, I don't know what to do. Uh. But, like, uh, anyways, let's, uh, actually sit down, shall we? Or we can not sit down, we can just stand here. How about that? That works. Uh, did I mention the date yet? Yeah, it's, uh, Tuesday, May 7th, I do believe? May 7th? Yeah, Tuesday, May 7th. I'm thinking of getting rid of this hair. Like, seriously, I am. Like, I've, I've been growing this hair out for the past two years now, the back of my head. And it's just, I don't know, I'm just getting... I don't know, I've always been kind of indifferent to him. Like, on one hand, it's like, oh, this is something different. You know, my hair, maybe people will like it. But, you know, and then uh, the past few years, like, as I've grown out, I've had issues with it, but then I don't mind it. And sometimes, you know, I'm just kind of so indifferent to it. Like, I don't know if I want it or not, And but I think I'd look better without it, you know? I, I don't know, you know? I One thing's for sure, I've always, I, I think in recent times especially, I thought about like kind of how, how important fashion is because you know the fact is no matter how much we try to deny people are superficial they they will judge you by your appearance you know there's that's just something we can't change it's just, that there's a, that's just our natural nature the I don't know how to put this like it's just how we are as people you know we can tell people to deny it. it's like as much as we want but internally, people will always do it, you know, and that's just something we can't stop, unfortunately. So we have to, I, at least, that's how I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to prepare for it by think, considering my appearance, you know, considering, like, what others will think about me by, you know, trying to at least somewhat pr present myself a little bit. And one of the ways you can do that, the one of the most basic ways to do that is just by showering every day. Like that's that alone makes a huge difference. Like just showering every day. But that's not enough. You know, we've also got to consider like our what to do with our hair and you know, our faces and shit like that. You can't really change your face much, which really sucks. You know, and also this shirt too. I remember okay, so yeah, I mentioned this in the Japan vlog when I was there that apparently wearing this shirt was not a good idea. At least out in public. Like, I would never wear this shirt out in public ever again. And what I've been doing, actually, is wearing it inside, like, turning it inside out and wearing it at work. Just because, you know, I just want a white shirt to wear at work. But, like, all the other ones are dirty and I have to take them to the laundry. But today's not a good day to do that because of the, the, the shitty weather, you know. But, yeah. I'm not drunk. I'm, like, hardly even tipsy at this point. Like, I just, uh, I just need a, I just need one drink to uh, kind of get over the feelings, I guess, I was having. Um, anyways, uh, also I did a poll, well not really a poll, I just asked, I just kind of brought up the idea, like, uh, I've been kind of playing with this idea of, like, doing a live stream of a Paper Mario Thousand Door when it comes out, because that's, like, that's only a few weeks from now, isn't that? That's coming out on the 23rd of May, so it's, like, uh, about, 
uh, 17 days from now, or 16 days. Yeah, the math is not really good in my head. I think it's 16 days, yeah. So, so just a little over two weeks from now, we're gonna have Paper Mario Thousand Door on Switch out. And I'm very much looking forward to that because it's one of my favorite games growing up. It's my favorite RPG of all time. At least, well, not really. Uh, actually, Xenoblade X has actually surpassed that recently. Speaking of Xenoblade X, check this out. This is Xenoblade X running on my PC. This is Simu, the Wii U emulator, the main, at least the main one that most people use. And uh, this game is fantastic on Simu. In fact, actually, that's the reason why I've been kind of absent lately on, you know, on here, like besides the posts in the old vlogs. And even then, I just took the past week off from doing it unintentionally because I just forgot, I just never got around to publishing and or like scheduling any of the vlogs to go up, but I finally got around to doing that this week, so now I finally got the old vlogs to watch at least until I put out newer content, and I apologize about that. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing the past month. And also, those of you who are in my Discord, my community Discord server, you probably saw them been playing Lethal Company as well, and that's actually, that's another thing too, I've been really getting into that game, really enjoying it with friends. Um, so just doing that, and also uh, Simu. Well, that thought, hang on, I need to go get my food real quick. Okay, so now that's out of the way, um, I need to back up a bit since before I go on more tangents, because that's what I tend to do in these vlogs if I'm not, if I don't organize my thoughts correctly. Um, so when I, yeah, when I got back from Japan, um, after I finished going through and editing all the vlogs and getting them all up, and also for those of you who haven't seen it yet, I actually combined all the Japan vlogs into one five hour, five hour and forty five minute video, basically. So you can pretty much see my my entire Japan trip in that video, uh, if you're interested in watching. For those of you who can sit through that much of me, basically. Uh, but it is very, it was it was a lot of fun. Uh, I should I should comment you know, on the trip itself overall. And I will say that, uh, yeah, it was the best trip of my life, and I look forward to doing it again. I will definitely be going to Japan again in the near future, like as, as soon as I possibly can. I will be having another vacation in July. It's theoretically possible I might go there this uh, at that time, but I'm kind of uh, a little unsure of that. I'd like to go then. But the thing is, like, there's a couple things going back. One of them is that the fact that apparently summers in Japan are very brutal. Like, extremely hot and very humid. So, yeah, summertime is not the best time to visit Japan. But neither was the time I went there, I went there, which was the cherry blossom season. Because it was, yeah, it was just so packed and everywhere I went. And there were places I wanted to visit that I couldn't because they were just too packed. Like the Capybara Cafe, for example. But I still got to see them. That's, that was really awesome. Not only that, but also the experience of meeting three online friends in real life. You know, I met these friends in VR chat originally. Um, some of them two, two years ago, actually. And, uh, yeah, the, the days that I was able to hang out with friends were the best days by far. And, uh, yeah, I would gladly do it all over again. It's just, yeah, this trip was a little pricey. And so I'm going to have to save it a little bit. And I don't know if I can by, by the time July rolls around. Um... It's so it's just it's very yeah things are very uncertain at the moment and it's very possible that July could just you know my vacation in July could just very well be just a staycation just stay home you know just for the sake of saving up money more and just kind of catching up on things here because as you as you probably saw there's just I need to paint my place a little bit it's been it's kind of yeah it's very untidy lately but that just goes back to my job and just how terrible it's been recently it's just been so stressful and so terrible that on my days off, even though I have three days off, and literally last weekend I had th I had four days off because I skipped one day at work because it was just that bad. I was just so stressed out. Because on top of, you know, all the crap's been going on at work lately, um, they also had to come into my apartment and inspect it for, like, pests and stuff, like roaches and shit. Um, and they, didn't, they only gave me a 48-hour notice to clean up, basically. So I didn't even bother to clean up the place that much. I just got... You know some stuff out of the way and apparently they didn't mind because all they, all they checked was the fucking kitchen that was it that's all they checked They're just the, the the kitchen that's it so i didn't even need to be stressed out as much as i was but i was you know you know i had all that shit i had that shit on top of the already all, all the already like all the stress i was going through at work basically so it's just it's been it's been so bad i'm telling you i'm getting so sick of this crap like i, I don't know what to do though i really really don't you know 
can even form a proper sentence despite the fact it's already been like at this point the drink is already is, has already long passed but, like i still can't form a coherent sentence because you know like when i'm at not work it's just rest just rest 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 recover and that's all i can do that's all i can think to do i just i'm not motivated to do anything you know besides just sit that sit, sit my ass at that desk and play games all day so but yeah after i got back from japan um, shortly after I finished editing those, all those vlogs, um, I made the decision to hack my Wii U console officially. Now, as you probably know, um, those of you who have been paying attention to those, all those video collection videos, all these collection videos I made in the past, um, I have three Wii U's total. Um, there's my original launch Wii U from a month ago, which is currently sitting uh, below the, the TV, basically. Uh, I think it's this one right here, or it's one of these two. Um, but yeah, I have three Wii U's. So yeah, the first one I bought, I got a month after launch. My mom got it for me for Christmas. The second one, which I have right here, I got this back in January of 2021. And you'll actually see a vlog of that here in the future once I get around to posting the 2020, uh, 2021 vlogs and I post it, got around to posting. One of them is where I shared that I got a second Wii U. And, and then just in November of last year, I got a third Wii U. So... Yeah, I have three Wii U's now, and I chose to hack the second one. Um, now that Nintendo has shut down the pretty much all all service for the Wii U, essentially, including especially the online service. Hell, as far as that goes, I might actually hack my 3DS as well. But, you know, moving back to Wii U, um, so yeah, I hacked the console. And at this point, for months now, I already had Simu installed, but I didn't have any of, the, any of the Wii U ISOs to play games on. So, I started, I along with uh, hacking my Wii U console... That means uh, the main thing with, you know, main thing for me with hacking the console is so I have access to a pretendo network so I can use the, I can still use the Wii U online services and still, you know, and that will help a lot with the Xenoblade Chronicles X Let's Play. But then I got the idea to actually, because one of the things you can do once you hack your Wii U console is you can actually dump your Wii U discs, your, uh, you know, the ISOs, the disk image files, onto a, an SD card or USB drive or wherever you want to put it. And you can use that, your ISO, to play on the Wii U emulator Simu. And so that's what I started doing. I dumped uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and about, tw about like, basically a baker's dozen of games, basically. Why that much, I have no idea. But uh, those, those are basically the games I wanted to do. Um, I just wanted to do the main titles, especially the ones that aren't on the Switch, but also the, the ones that are on the Switch anyways, because, uh, well... Switch emulators aren't quite as uh, stable quite yet as we as this as Simu is, so I'd actually recommend that over a Switch emulator for playing uh, Breath of the Wild. But nevertheless, uh, yeah, Breath of the Wild and Xenoblade X that means uh, you can play them at basically whatever resolution you want, as high as you want, and also the frame rate as high as 240 FPS. It's insane. It gets crazy the things you can do just by playing these games on emulator. And now that I've played Xenoblade X and, and Zelda at Breath of the Wild at, at 60 FPS. I could never go back to playing them on the original consoles because it just looks so good with the higher frame rate. So, yeah, I just can't imagine playing it any other way. It's not perfect. The emulation's not perfect quite yet, but it's still preferable over just LPing the game and having to get my second camera to record the gamepad screen. So, for all intents and purposes, the Let's Play might actually move to Wii U to Simu actually, because that'd be much easier. Not only that, but I don't even need the online services to do. Uh, the squad task because apparently there's a mod that lets you just do squad tasks off offline on your emulator, so I can I can I can show how it works basically like when I do it. But yeah, that there's a distinct possibility that future Let's Play episodes of Xenoblade X will be recorded on Simu actually instead of on the Wii U console itself. So that means a higher frame rate, and higher resolutions basically. I'm only gonna do up to 1080p though because it's not necessary to do more than that. It really isn't. Because my monitors only support up to 1080p, anyways. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I did the Wii U console. Talked about the Japan trip. I mean, there's more. I can, there's more I can go into with all these different subjects. But basically, I just wanted to kind of catch up with y'all because it's been over a month since I talked to you. Oh, well, I don't know if it's been months since I talked to you, but like it's been, yeah, it's been quite a while, basically. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say for today, folks. And I will uh, talk to you all later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.